And I like what you said. I mean, in your video, which I'll link below, you said something that I thought was hilarious. You said, um, can Python functions get lonely? Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you explain what you were saying by that? Yeah, so the, the, one, of the, one of the comments in the original chat transcript between this researcher and his friend and, and his colleague and this Lambda AI was, do you get lonely? And it spouted off a whole paragraph about how lonely it is. And it doesn't make any sense because it's a function call, right? So you put in your words at the top, it runs a, what is essentially a big transformer network, which is pre-trained on all this data. And then it spits out words at the bottom, which you read, and then it stops executing, right? Because there's no kind of ongoing process like there is in my... I mean, I like to think that when I'm not immediately saying something to you, I'm still... There's something going on in there, right? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, you know, I can't prove it to you. But but this is not the case, you know? And it's just like when you run a... Like, I mean, I made a joke about it, but when you run, you know, reverse string in Python, you don't worry that it gets lonely the rest of the time because it's not executing. That's just some code that executed. It finished executing and it just lies dormant in memory, doing absolutely nothing of interest. And that's, for me, kind of what this model is doing. If they developed a model that was always on in some way, like maybe it was always doing something and it had memory and it had storage, I, could, I, I still probably would think I would need some convincing that it had any kind of you know, higher level thought process, but at least it would be plausible. You know, um, It would sort of think, well, at least it's got something going on in there, but I just don't think it's designed that way. It's designed as a very, very big, reverse string and uh, you know i don't worry about those things being sentient yeah but it's crazy i mean it, i mean the well i mean in my opinion because they kind of they were implying that this ai or whatever was like a human or equivalent to a human and it seems like that's quite a stretch but in you know popular popular culture that's what people equate to, to ai it seems yeah that that really that that's i think the big issue right is is that a lot of people get bogged down deciding well what does sentient actually mean and that doesn't interest me because when anyone uses the word they're not using it in a different definition. They're using it in the definition we think of as like Terminator and Skynet, right? You know, this, this researcher wasn't saying, oh, I think it's sentient, but I define sentience as something like a slightly convoluted if statement, right? He was saying, I think it's like a person and yeah. it's got memories and it's got experiences and it gets lonely and it needs a Feelings lawyer. And that's mad. Yeah. And, and without, with, any, with zero evidence to support this, and indeed not so much evidence as just it doesn't even make sense. So I think you have to be extremely careful using the word sentient, not because you might have a different definition, but because everyone has the actual same definition, right? Which is actual, you know, human level cognitive ability, but, but you know, which, so I don't spend a lot of time worrying about what the definition of sentience is, because if I go to someone in a conversation and say, this is sentient, I think we both understand implicitly what that means to me to say that. And so I, don't, I, I think that arguing about the definition is a bit silly because we actually all secretly agree on the definition. Yeah, I mean, I think for the general population, I mean, I'm not, um, I'm not into the AI piece uh, like you are, and that's why you, I, I want to talk to you about it. You know, I just think people go off movies and popular culture, yeah. and that's sort of what, what people, that's the impression they get, and that's why it was so big on the news, perhaps.